when I stood up. There was just stuff spilling out the side of my scar. Why don't we start by going back to that day, five days after you gave birth? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. And why don't you tell us what happened? I got up and fed Nadi at like early doors and I put her back to her bed, got her all sorted and put her back in her basket. And then I thought, right, I'll jump in the shower while she's sleeping. I just went down and picked up my shampoo and when I stood up, there was just stuff spilling out the side of my scar. Before the paramedics came in, Aidan had got my phone and was like, well, we'll take a picture. And I was like, okay. So I just kind of sat there and I was like, <laughs> with the face, as if to say, what? And then the paramedics came in. I think they just sort of threw sterile water over it and I think they were giving, putting Drips and uh, mm. morphine and things like that. They kind of sorted me out and wrapped me in a silver blanket and took me out into the ambulance. They had to radio for a helicopter. And at that point, I was like, "Am I going to be okay?" Yeah. And he said, "Yeah, you're going to be fine. We just need to get you there a wee bit quicker." And throughout all this, you didn't feel any pain. No, not at all. No. Whether it's because initially I was in shock, mm -hmm. and then after that, I had morphine. Was there a lot of blood, or was there it was no blood? No blood. Okay. There, there was. Just intestines. Just intestines. That, that's literally all there was. There was absolutely no blood at all. It was just bizarre. I was just sat there and every time my stomach rumbled, you could see it. Oh goodness. Rumbling. It was like, oh, it was horrible. How does it feel knowing that everybody all over the country is looking at this picture of you and your intestines? <laughs> just a bit odd. Um, we certainly didn't take the picture for any other reason than just it seemed like a, the right thing to do at the time. <laughs> so do you think at the time, I mean, it must have been so surreal. Do you think you realised fully what had happened? I think if Aidan had panicked, mm -hmm. I would have definitely panicked. Mm -hmm. I would have thought I was dying or, you know, I would have just been like, whoa! But he was so calm and so together and that just sort of put me at ease. When you are in the hospital, what was the staff in the hospital? What was their reaction to what had happened? Had they ever seen anything like that no. before? No. I remember one of the nurses saying, she says, I've never seen this happen before. She says, that's... That shouldn't have happened. So of course you're a new mum, this is your first baby, yeah. you've only had your baby five days ago mm -hmm. and you're away from your baby. What was that like? It was horrible. Yeah. Um, when I come home, I think it was only a Friday, I came home and I almost felt like she wasn't my baby because yeah. Aidan had been looking after her mm -hmm. obviously. Um, I didn't know how much she was taking in her bottle, I didn't know why she was crying, I didn't... It was really, it was, yeah. it was hard. And after you had your subsequent children, <clears throat> um, and you said you went on to have a C-section again, mm -hmm. afterwards, were you apprehensive then about what you did, or? I don't think so. No more so no, than first I, time? <laughs> no, I wasn't. I just thought, well, it's not, it's happened once, it's not going to happen again. Yeah. I'd be really unlucky if it yeah. did. <laughs> um, so I just kind of put it to the back of my mind and just got on with it. Just the same as I did the first time. Don't forget you can get more information on pregnancy, birth and beyond on the Channel Mom website which will be linked in the description box but thank you so much for having us today and for sharing your experience. It's okay. Mm -hmm.